Here we will be showcasing the 20 biggest battle tanks of the Imperium of Man. And no, we won't be including basic transports or armored carriers. Just the ones with the nasty cannons and also not all the different variants, just the main ones. As it will take forever to finish the video. So let's get to it. At 20 we have the Bane Wolf or a Hellhound or a Devil Dog. The Hellhound is an Imperial God's flamethrower tank with the Inferno Cannon as its primary armament. The Devil Dog, which is a variant, uses a fusion reaction based melter cannon while another variant, the Bane Wolf, uses a chemical weapons cannon. These tanks are all 6.9 meters or 22.6 feet long, 4.1 meters or 13.45 feet in height and weigh 35 tons. At number 19 we have the Predator Destructor. This is the go-to main battle tank utilized by both the Space Marines and also the Traitor Legions. Its main gun is an auto cannon, which is an automatic self-loading heavy ballistics weapon that fires a high velocity shell. It is 6.6 .6 meters or 21.6 feet long, 4.4 meters or 14.4 feet in height and weigh 44 tons. The Baal Predator is also a variant used by the Blood Angels. At number 18 we have Ragnarok. The Ragnarok is a heavy main battle tank of the Astra Militarum that is mostly used by the Imperial Guard's siege regiments and first developed by the regiments of the Death Corps of Krieg. Its main gun is a battle cannon which fires a ballistic shell but requires a line of sight for action. The Ragnarok specifications are hard to find but we estimate it to be weighing around 50 tons. At number 17 we have the Krios. This main battle tank with a fixed turret is used primarily in the past by the Mechanicum of Mars and now by the Adeptus Mechanicus. It is armed with a hull mounted forwards firing lightning cannon. The lightning cannon uses the Krios power on board reactor's vast capacity to create a laser guided electromagnetic beam and it would weigh between 50 to 60 tons. 16. The Destroyer Tank Hunter This archaic and ancient weapon system of the Imperial Guard is now an endangered species. These tanks are equipped with a powerful weapon known as a heavy laser destroyer and are excellent tank hunters, firing single salvos or shots and then rush back to safety. It is 7.08 meters or 23 feet long, short in stature at only 3.4 meters or 11.1 feet in height and weighing 52 tons. Number 15. The Lehman Russ Named after the Primarch of the Space Wolves, its STC was discovered during the Great Crusade and since then, it has been the backbone of the Astra Militarum. The main gun is its turret-mounted battle cannon. Its secondary armament is a last cannon in the forward hull mount. It also has a barrage of lesser weapons. It is 7.08 meters or 23 feet long, 4.42 meters or 14.5 feet in height and weighing 60 tons. 14. We have the Sikaran. These main battle tanks were once the most advanced armored vehicles used by the Legionists Astartes during the Great Crusade and up till the Horus Heresy. Their STC on know-how to build them is lost to time. Its main armament is a twin Heracles Accelerator Auto Cannon and a last cannon on the side hulls. It is 8.2 meters or 27 feet long, 4.85 meters or 16 feet tall and weighs 65 tons. Number 13. The Repulsor Built by the Mechanicus of Mars for the new Primaris Space Marines, the Repulsor Graf Tank is equipped with a heavy onslaught Gatling Cannon, a twin heavy bolter, iron hail and Icarus iron hail heavy stubbers, two grenade launchers, storm bolters and auto launchers. Phew! It is quite packed. These are hovering war machines that weigh in excess of 50 to 60 tons by our estimates. Number 12. The Gladiator this is another hi-fi high-tech primary space marines anti-gravity tank around the same size as the Repulsor. The Gladiator's twin-linked heavy onslaught Gatling cannon and pair of Tempest boulders are its main weapons. The Valiant variant has a twin last talon laser cannon while the Lancer, another variant, has a long-range laser destroyer. It would be the same weight as the Repulsor as well. Number 11. The Land Raider these are called the Land Raiders because they were discovered by Archon Land and not because they are on land. They are the armored fists of the Space Marines. And the standard configuration Land Raider, the Phobos pattern, is armed with two twin linked God Hammer pattern last cannons mounted on the side and has a twin linked heavy bolter on the top. It is 10.3 meters or 33.8 feet long, 4.11 meters or 13.5 feet in height, and weighs in excess of 72 tons. Number 10. The Valder Tank Hunter This archaic tank of the Astra Militarum was constructed during the Horus Heresy as a weapon to fight the Traitor Legion's land raiders. 
It is armed with an ancient weapon known as a neutron laser projector and it also is equipped with heavy flamethrowers, a last cannon or an auto cannon. It is 11.5 meters or 37.7 feet long, 3.7 meters or 12.1 feet in height and weighs in excess of 96 tons. Number 9. Rogal Dawn Named after another Primarch, this heavy main battle tank is used by the Astra Militarum. Its heavy armor gives it durability and ability to crush through enemy lines. It is either armed with two battle cannons or an oppressor cannon with a coaxial auto cannon and augmented with a variety of melter guns, stubbers, gatlings or even pulverizer guns. It is over 100 tons in weight. Number 8. The Malkador This tank is an ancient relic that is traced back to the Age of Strife heavily armored and has won many wars until its replacement by newer tanks. Used by the Imperial Guard, the tank boasts a large battle cannon as well as attached heavy stubbers, last cannons and auto cannons. This large tank is 9.6 meters or 31.5 feet long. It is 3.9 meters or 12.8 feet in height and heavy at 105 tons. Number 7. The Cerberus Now we come to the super heavies in size. Used in limited numbers by the Space Marines legions during the Great Crusade and the Horus Heresy, this tank destroyer carried a couple of massive forward firing neutron laser projectors, comparable to Titan sized weaponry in the field of battle. The Cerberus is also extremely heavy at 174 tons. Number 6 The Macarius This super heavy tank of the Imperial Guard is ancient in design, and only a few Forge worlds have the STCs to fabricate such weapons of war. The standard armament are turret-mounted twin-link battle cannons, a hull-mounted twin-link heavy stubber and a sponson-mounted heavy bolter on each side. It weighs 175 tons, one ton more than the Cerberus. Number 5. The Felblade or the Felglaive This was a highly advanced pattern of Imperial Super Heavy main battle tank with armor and firepower equivalent to smaller titans. Used as the backbone of the pre-Horus Heresy Astarte Legions, they wreak havoc with their twin-linked accelerator cannons. The Felglaive is a variant of the Felblade with a Volkite main weapon instead. They are both 302 tons in weight. Number 4. The Falcon Also known as the Mammoth, this super heavy tank was also used in Mars by the Legion Astartes. The Falcon's twin-mounted Volcano Cannon is one of the most powerful vehicle-mounted anti-tank weapons in the Imperium's arsenal, even capable of taking down Scout and Battle Titans. The Falcon is also very heavy at 302 tons in weight. Number 3. The Bane Hammer The Bane Hammer was meant to deter opposing forces from attacking Imperial lines before the Imperial Guard's tremendous barrage had their expected effect. This super heavy tank was armed with a single hull mounted tremor cannon as its main weapon which is invaluable as it creates shockwaves and earthquakes. So it slows down enemy charges especially Tyranid swarms. This tank weighs 310 tons. Number 2. The Bane Blade or the Shadow Sword The Bane Blade is the Astra Militarum's primary super heavy tank as well as one of the Imperium's largest and oldest armored battle vehicles. While the Bane Blade is armed with a Mega Battle Cannon, its sister tank, the Shadow Sword, is armed with a Volcano Cannon intended for hunting and killing Titans. These Super Heavies are in excess of 319 tons in weight. And number 1. The Astraeus One of the newest tanks in the Imperium, a product of Belisarius Claw's heretic innovations, it is intended for use by the primary Space Marines. The Astraeus Super Heavy Battle Tank embodies the apex of Imperial engineering as it has void shields as well as an anti-gravity tech for propulsion as well as being armed with a set of turret mounted twin link macro accelerator cannons and a variety of lesser weapons on the sides. So I hope you have enjoyed watching this video, the 20 biggest tanks of the Imperium of Man from the Warhammer 40k universe. So do hit the like button for support and subscribe but most of all smash that bell icon for regular updates on new videos here on this channel. Take care boys.